Oh my god. Oh, so my eyes Can you see him? Hi, William. Oh, he's like, oh, oh, look how cute he is. <laughs> right? Does that look like Hudson and Cooper used to look? Is that what your puppy looked like? It sure is, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, my little heart seat. I love me so much. Aww. <laughs> he still gives us kisses. Oh, he's happy to be home. Someone that we know locally had gotten a Moss Creek Doodle. And our dog had, our previous dog, um, you know, had, had reached an old age and he needed to go to sleep. I wasn't ready for another dog for a while, but these friends, acquaintances of ours, they had a dog from Moss Creek and Kim was talking to them. And they said, oh. she said, go on their website. But once you go on their website, you're never gonna go to get a dog from anywhere else. Before you know it. Conversation with Kelly later and that was it. We were signed up. And we were in love with Cooper. And the only problem is that Cooper wanted to play with other puppies all the time. Kim went down and she met Johanna and Bentley and she met Kelly and Lauren, Lauren and everyone else. And she came back with this little tiny puppy. And they were just very playful from the beginning. They didn't start cuddling though for about 48 hours. All of a sudden, Sunday night, I think when we were all exhausted, we just looked and there was Hudson, like in Cooper's, like draped over Cooper. And I was like, wow, Cooper, good boy. The whole thing has been surreal from the very moment that I found the pill box, which we have. Actually, we, we saved. I, I don't know why I, we did. I, I, I just can't throw it out. Don't ask me why. Here, we'll show it to you. We, which shows but, it's like it's the child's cat yeah, part of this. Oh. No, Cooper, don't even go near that. When I came home, he, both dogs, ran down the stairs and jumped at me to say hello, like as if they hadn't seen me for, you know, for days. We realized that it must have happened within the, pre the half hour preceding my arrival home. Um, and I immediately called the vet and took the two dogs to the vet. And then within maybe five minutes of being there, uh, Hudson started to walk funny and started drooling. By the time they put in the IV, which was very quickly, um, he was not with, he wasn't conscious. Oh and at that point, I, she said that she couldn't make him vomit because he might aspirate. And I completely knew what she was saying and was in complete agreement. And the yeah. vets were all telling us, no, this isn't futile. This is, you know, we can save him. He was only seven months and a very healthy puppy. And there's no reason that he should have complications. It just had to get out of his system. Um, so we went to, so we went from our vet to the one vet that was 40 minutes away. And then we got a phone call from them. Maybe two hours, I went back to work just trying to tidy things up. Um, Shelly actually dropped me off. It was so late at that point, Shelly dropped me back off at work and drove home. And then I got a phone call not even two hours later that he had been intubated and that they couldn't keep him there. We needed to go into the city. Um, and they told us that they have um, like an ambulance, but it's not an ambulance for dogs. Um, that they were, they could arrange transportation, but that the, whoever was gonna drive, whatever it is, a van or something to the city, didn't have a technician and so the place was going to send a technician with us and that was joanne who ended up being like now she's auntie joe actually well so they told us 
that that the car or the the transportation to the city can't come for three hours, and we're like, uh, isn't time of the essence here? Like, we're like, okay, what can they do that we can't do? We have a car. Uh, they don't have a vet. I said, but Kim, someone has to be bagging him, and you know, like ventilating him. And um, Kim said, well, but they're going to send their tech anyway. The vet was going to send their tech. And so we um, said, well, okay, if we take her in the car, isn't that just as good as taking this transportation? So, you know, here I am imagine, imagining an ambulance, but it was really probably just some van. If he's going to die, why does he have to die in the back of some van? I'd rather just pull over and let him die in my arms in our car and, you know, on the side of the road. Thank God that we didn't ever have to make that decision to not give him treatment. Um, and part of that was, um, you know, yes, we were able to increase our credit line on our credit cards, but part of it was that we had the whole Moss Creek community responding to that first um, that first text that I posted. I, it just, they kept us going. Like, I felt like I had to keep people updated. And I'm like, there's all these people rooting for us. The thing that really helped us when we, when we'd see pictures of other dogs, yeah. Um, that encouraged us and that like made us laugh and, and smile. Soon after we got Cooper, we got pet insurance, like pet health insurance. But never did we think that we would ever reach an amount of, of the limit, which was 10,000 a year. Well, we reached that within a day, even you know, half a day. There, there were two ways that people were donating to donate directly by credit card to his bill and and I think when people called the first time they didn't know who they were talking about but very quickly everybody knew yeah. that it was Hudson the Doodle yeah. who has a brother Cooper with these crazy people who are commuting yeah. in every day from Long Island. Yeah he was kind of um, a legend there. I would say the first the second day um, there were more than more than a thousand dollars worth of donations that were made on his behalf from various people. But then um, they couldn't give us names or anything because they just said, "Oh, we they just do it and all." Like it was just like the last four digits of their card or something. They, like they just gave me receipts. Wow. So I had this. They handed me this huge envelope with receipts, and I literally have it on my nightstand, and I just cry every time I look at it. This wonderful person, Jessica, who we never met in Florida, decided she set it all up and she's like, I'm gonna do it. And, you know, she said, I can propose, send me some pictures. She said, I don't wanna burden you, but if you could send us some pictures, Paige, I'd look every so often just to see what's going on. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, people were writing notes and I, I just, it was so overwhelming, um, you know, and then then I, I remember there was somebody who donated um, their their son or their their young son wanted to donate money to help Hudson, and I think it was somebody from the Moss Creek family, and he so he donated five dollars, and you know there are other people who just tried to help with what little they're 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 quite large donations, but they're also little ones, and every little bit helps, doesn't and matter. it doesn't even matter. It's just the thought that they're trying to support us and and you know help Hudson. There were messages. There was one day that Kim was feeling really down because it was her medication and there were people who were like, no, this could happen to anyone.
out of your mind. <gasps> Say hi, Mom. Hello. Go for a walk. Say bye, Mom. Going back to my cage. That. What was it like when you brought Hudson home finally? He sat both upright in the car and he became excited and he was like, I know where I am. And he you could just tell us. He was like, he that's, when he, like that's when he came back. He was like, I'm home. He like jumped up the four stairs, which we were just in disbelief. And he was so excited, like he knew. He's like, I'm home. First of all, we can't even express oh how grateful we are to the whole Lost Creek community. <laughs> Every first single all, person. First of all, for, for our wonderful puppies that have just made us such a happy family, but um, but just the whole Moss community, starting from um, Kelly and Lauren, and you know who, who created these cute guys and sent us all the notifications um you know before this ever happened um but certainly during this whole traumatic event that really was a nightmare with the silver lining um we we just the amount of love and support and reaching out and prayers that people have been sending us um, it, it, it's just astounding. It, it just to not be believed. Um, I think Kim looked today and the original post had something like a thousand plus messages, you know, of just people and and the amount of money that people raised and and money is one thing but just even to get us through the day when I'd be looking you know and and ready to cry and then I'd see some post that was so sweet and and so loving and so like you're gonna make this and look all our doodles are counting on, on Hudson and and especially the families of his litter mates they were so supportive absolutely and just, supportive know. um you know, and uh, go ahead, Kim. You, you can I made read the this, list. Yeah, no, we made this but, huge list. I mean, the medical team was incredible, um, from our vet to the emergency vet and this tech Joanne um, Muller, who's become part of our family now. She, you know, she actually the other day said, "I'm going to miss our every two hour texts." Huh. And you know, she even texted me today, "How's it going?" And I know tonight I'll have a time. And I texted her, but her lock screen on her phone is Hudson. Oh. <laughs> um, and you know and her entire team there and the team at blue pearl was incredible um the nursing staff like they just gave him so much love um and the two criticalists dr daly and davidson and fox they were incredible and just making sure that they stayed in touch with us um and just treating him like they he was their own and that's how we really felt that everyone there was taking care of him like he was their own puppy um and that's what you want when you know a loved one is sick um and then there just were so many people like crystal um and jessica farah and brenna egan and um kathy uh morris and morris Gershner, who just set up these you know who really made good out of this and with healthy paws and and did this link um and we're donating the um referral fees that they got for healthy paws that was oh, yes cooper um um, you know, because there, there are people who don't have pet insurance and, you know, even though we did, it, it ended up being such yeah. a small amount of the amount yeah. that we owed, but there are people who don't have health insurance at all and, um, you know, they really rallied around pet insurance and for people to get pet insurance and that it's so worth it. Um, and, and in the referral uh, fee schedule, they donated you know, donating all the money from the from the recommendation because I guess they give people back some money and and I think more than ten or twelve families have already gotten pet insurance and they've just put the money to 
to Hudson's Fund. Well, our friends Brandy and Craig were incredible. Craig drove into the city with me three nights in a row. He took David's taking our kids, kids in, in taking to visit kids in. the dog. Their, um, their kids rallied, they rallied, and just there were so many of our family um, members. Um, Ethel um, Kavlinas has been incredible, offering to come sit with Hudson um, you in, know, the city. in the city. There's uh, other people that we didn't know at all um, said, oh, my office is right around the corner. If you need just company or if you need, you know, a cup of coffee or whatever, just call. Or people that were like 30 minutes from the city, they said, let me know if I can help. Let me know if you need me to come do anything. Um, people have just, like, someone who we had never met offered for us to stay in her apartment because she lived near the original animal hospital we were going to go to. Um, you know, it's just, like, so warm and so welcoming. Um, you know, we just want to thank every single person individually and give every single person a hug and just say thank you for being there for us. Um... And you know we and, hope yeah. this this and, community continues, and you know because I think people that love doodles, they're all good people. If the tables were ever turned. Um, we want to be the first people there to help somebody else, and we hope the tables are never turned. But we've been trying to wrap our brains and figure out how to pay it forward. Um, to this community because we can't ever thank them enough. And thank every, every single person, person and even people that we don't know that have donated money towards Hudson through friends sites and we, we don't know. The anonymous and the, yeah. you know, I, I want to thank the anonymous who, you know, and actually I'm usually one of the anonymous when I make the, these donations, so I totally get it. Um, but we're not keeping track of, of who or what. But we just, everyone, every single person has been wonderful. Um, and we can't thank you all enough. And of course, we didn't mention um, Janet, who is doing this video or this movie, um, who was just wonderful in offering to help to document this. And um, we can't thank you enough. Um, and Cooper and Hudson can't thank you all enough for staying by them and supporting them. Yeah. And I have to say my favorite pictures that I saw were the Muddy Doodles. That um, The Muddy Doodle Day really made me laugh because things were really hard then. And nothing made me happier than seeing Muddy Dirty Doodles because it reminds me how happy and playful they are. And those were the, those I think were some of my favorite posts. No, Can you say I love my doodles? Do you love you, Doodles? They were her first babies. Yeah, yeah. she used to tell the dogs, don't worry, you're gonna be too big for her to carry soon. The saga of 10 days um, has ended. We still have, a, hopefully, a very long life with Cooper and Hudson, and um, we, we don't anticipate, and the vets don't anticipate any long-term complications. We just have to get through the pneumonia and Hudson's fur has to grow back. And so thank God, hopefully we'll have our doodles for a long time and they'll live happily ever after and get to meet lots of other doodles at future romps. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Did you miss them? Yeah. Did you miss them a lot? A real lot? Oh, hello, baby. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Here, wait, I'm going to take a picture.